energy in the form of heat from the sun is the engine that powers our weather. Heat not only gives us warm weather, it also leads to tornadoes, hurricanes, blizzards, and rain. Sounds impossible? Just think about the sun. It pours out electromagnetic energy in all directions all the time. It radiates heat waves that travel through space and reach the surface of the Earth. Energy from the sun gets absorbed by the Earth and converted to heat. Since our Earth is tilted, sunlight strikes it unevenly. At any given time, some places on Earth are heated more strongly than others. This uneven heating helps drive our weather. As the surface of the Earth heats up, it heats the air above it. Like these bubbles, warmer air becomes thinner and lighter, so it rises. And as it does, cooler air moves in to take its place. This movement of heat through the fluid of air is known as convection. It creates areas of high pressure and low pressure and gives us our winds, even tornadoes. We can think of our atmosphere as an endlessly moving river of air, full of currents, eddies and winds. Together with water, it helps distribute heat around the planet. Water both retains and releases the heat energy from the sun, so it too plays a key role in our weather. The oceans efficiently store heat and carry both warm and cold water around the globe. The differences in heat between the land and sea greatly influence local weather. To get a better idea of how water carries heat, just look at a puddle. When the sun heats the puddle, the water evaporates carrying heat energy with it. Water becomes invisible vapour that adds moisture to the air. This water vapour rises until it cools and condenses into clouds that bring snow and rain. Stored heat energy is released in the process, which sometimes powers a thunderstorm. The energy released when water vapour turns into a thunderstorm is mind-boggling. It could power New York for two months, if only we could harness it. There's that old saying, if you don't like the weather, wait a minute, it'll change. Thanks to the heat of the sun, this is definitely the case.